alcohol. No, I did alcohol. Well. But to be honest, actually, I just really liked your style. I was like, you walked past and then we had a moment of eye contact and you had like yeah. really... Sorry about no, that. No, no, you had like glossy brown eyes and I was like, that's beautiful. And then I saw you were wearing and I was like, okay, that's kind of sexy as well. So. Thank you. You had a quick second to um, analyze. Hi guys, this is Sam from Fluid Social. And today what I'm going to talk to you about is how to get started with improving your social skills and meeting women in the daytime as a total beginner, having never gone out, in your life and actually go and talk to a woman that you like the look of, how do you start doing that? Well, the first thing that I'd like to say is that if you're reading any books or watching any videos, irony noted, stop doing it now. Put down the books, stop watching that YouTube channel, stop taking advice for your friend who keeps uh, getting laid at university or from work and go out yourself. The biggest mistake that I made when I was starting was consuming the information of others trying to fix a problem that I didn't know needed a solution. I didn't know what was wrong with my communication, but I was already trying to fix it. I'd never tried messing around and going up and approaching, but I was already trying to do it better. And the problem that happens is that a lot of the stuff that you naturally have, the vibe that you have, the energy, the, the humor and the skill set that you have, you start to cover it in a veneer that makes it very difficult to get back to. You start digging a hole that's very hard to get out of and thinking that problems exist where they really don't. So the first thing I would say is drop everything right now and go out and do your first approach. Go up to someone and say hello. However, I understand that's not so easy and the reason why you guys watch these videos and read these books is to get an idea of how to do that more easily. So let me give you the most important line that you can use when you're starting out. This is a line that accounts for all of the mistakes that you're going to make, makes the other person see you as a normal human individual and will actually get them talking to you and thinking about you as a more serious prospect and a real guy and not that kind of fuckboy that just walks around and trying to get laid. So the, the line that you've got to use is, I don't use Tinder. Now this is super important for guys starting out. If the one thing you go up and say is just, hey, I saw you walking past and I don't really know what I'm doing, but I think you look really beautiful. Or hey, I just saw you gliding past and I think you look cute. Whatever she responds with, whether she says thank you or she says I've got a boyfriend, I'm not interested, you can come back and say, well, I get that. I just, you know, I don't use social media. I don't use Tinder. So I really only have the option of coming up and talking to someone in the day. Uh, so yeah, that's why I'm here. Once you've said that, every girl will support your decision. She's not gonna say, well, I think it's pretty weird. You should have met me on Tinder or you should have tried getting really drunk at a nightclub or a bar. Like, why have you come up to me in the day? Every woman is gonna validate what the action that you've taken. She's gonna agree with you that the best way to do this is to talk to someone in real life. And she's normally gonna give you some feedback, positive feedback saying, well, thank you for having the bravery or well done for being courageous enough to come up and talk to me. But that's from her perspective. That's her giving you a good, response that's her giving you some feedback but for you it also excuses your actions when we start out at this we get this feeling that we're doing something wrong that we're interrupting someone's day that what they were doing before is more important than what we've come to say to them so by saying this by coming in and saying listen i don't use instagram or tinder i don't message women online it doesn't feel right to me the only way that i have to meet women is by approaching them in the daytime you are going to make it easier for yourself to continue the conversation because you've given a socially intelligent reason as to why you're there. You're no longer just some guy chancing it and hoping for the best. You're being socially intelligent about it. Excuse me. Yeah, she's a public. Hi, I just walked past you and I think you're really cute. <laughs> Thank you. What's your name? Sana. Sana. I'm Sam. Hi, Sam. Should we have a handshake? Yeah. On a Wednesday. Uh, the first blonde person that's spoken to me. <laughs> really? Yeah. You've never spoken to a blonde person before? No. As in, guy. Yeah. <laughs> I'm the only blonde man that you've ever spoken to. Yeah. I'm, I'm privileged. I'm privileged, Anna. Well, Are you from London? I am from West London. Cool. Um, Kensington? No, Eden Broadway. Never been there. Yeah. I used to, uh, I was I was in Notting Hill and. Are you from London? Uh, I'm from Suffolk originally, like oh. northeast of London. Okay. Um, north outside of London mm -hmm. to the northeast. Do you live here now though? I live here now. I live in Shoreditch. East? East London. Okay. I, I'm so strictly west that like... Okay. I don't really go to the 
besides. You never visit. You never visit, visit the eastern hemisphere of London. I have, but it's just very rare. I stick yeah. to like West London, and you got everything you need in Eden. You got your nights out. You got Thank your pubs. You. I know. You know about Eden? No, I'm no, just okay. kind of. I'm just kind of assuming <laughs> no, what it's, it's like. No, Eden, West, London, like Shepherd's Bush, White City. Yeah. Circus. Do you hang out at the Westfield in Shepherd's Beach? Did you? Yeah, for years. Selling perfume? No. Funny assumption. Um, selling shoes, actually. Well, actually, many shops I worked in. Loads, but my last yeah. stop was Aldo, and now. Yeah. And now you've got shoes that ha sort of have one of those um, choker style spiky collars. Yes. Which yeah. is. Uh, Aldo, yeah. Cool. I like it. Thank you. I like it. Where are you heading now, Sana? Um, to shop. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Have a holiday and I'm not prepared. Congratulations. Thank you. Joy, you've literally just got the first of our stupidly hot weather. I know. Where I London suddenly miss. turns into the Mediterranean. Why not? Why not? Might as well enjoy it while we have it, right? Let's enjoy it. Exactly. Uh, can I take you out for a drink? I think you're cute. I don't drink. Well, we can go out for a juice. Do you like juice? I do. What's your favourite? Put me on the spot there. Um, huh? <laughs> so put me on the spot there. Uh, I don't know. I have uh, a juice called the Energizer Juice at Joe and the Juice. Hmm. It's like um, grapefruit, ginger, apple, and something else. It sounds like a very healthy. Yeah, it's really nice. I love healthy drinks, that sounds nice. Well, let's go for a healthy drink, Sana. <laughs> you and me. A healthy drink each. Mm. And no, uh, no added alcohol. No added alcohol, huh? Well. But to be honest, actually, I just really liked your style. I was like, you walk past and then. We had a moment of eye contact and you had like yeah, really sorry about no that, no yeah. you had like glossy brown eyes and i was like that's beautiful and then i saw you were wearing and i was like okay that's kind of sexy as well so thank you you had a quick second to um analyze thank you yeah yeah i mean you got you were very bright and blue yeah I, I, that's what I was, no i know we could have me no no we locked we locked in eye contact and it, <laughs> it, it i felt i felt something and um thank i have you. you know sometimes you gotta Sometimes you've got to make things happen. I, I would hate to have found you on Tinder, you know? <laughs> you wouldn't have because I'm not on it. That's good, neither am I. Are you really not? No, I'm really not. Are you on Hinge? I'm not on any dating apps. Really? I don't have any social media on my phone. I just, I like, I... My theory is on it. If you're going to do it, then profit from it. Not necessarily financially, but like, what's it giving to you? Instagram was giving me nothing. Facebook was giving me nothing except for Facebook Messenger, which I still have. Mm. And like snapchat and instagram i kind of agree with you recently i've been starting to go off them as well because i'm like why am i watching people stuff and why am i posting what who am i trying to impress with this you know it's true, it's true. but i get it if it's a business thing it's like if you're profiting yeah. in any way then go for it but mm. i never was so let's do it the old-fashioned way let's send each other an email <laughs> email do you have you an email my, i do have my email can i send you an email <laughs> go on then okay <laughs> My phone's out of battery. Do you have yours? Oh, okay. You can send me it. We'll we'll make it really formal. That's so funny. Sana. We can go like Victorian style. Dear. Then we'd have to like. Have dear madam. Feather pens and stuff. Yeah, we're gonna have quills. What's your um, email address? <laughs> yeah. So this is the first time that you've spoken to a blonde man, and this is the first time that you've exchanged email yep. addresses. All right. Yeah. Uh, which one shall I give you? I'm gonna give you this one. How many have you got? Loads. Because I have to give all these websites something when they ask for an email address, so I give okay. them all my fake ones. All my okay. so, um, Some man of many faces then. Yeah, exactly that. <laughs> I forgot your name. Ah, oh, it's a shame. Do you remember mine? Yeah. What was it? Luckily, I, you know, I've got oh, a wait, technique no, no, yours for that. begins with S though. Sam? Yes. Okay. So this is my email address. <clears throat> And we're gonna have a formal email exchange. Sample which okay. is gonna accumulate in a healthy drink together. Yeah, a non alcoholic healthy drink. Exactly. Mm. Well, you enjoy your day, I'm gonna go and do my shopping now. Right. Take care. Bye bye. I'll see you. Bye. People are gonna give you props, people are gonna give you respect when you're approaching women in a sensible and respectful way. However, if you came in and said, don't you think it's better than using Tinder? Don't you think I'm doing the right thing by not using Instagram, Tinder, or getting drunk at a club by coming and approaching you? If you have the intent in mind is to try and persuade the girl that you're doing the right thing, she's gonna think it's weird and it's premeditated and you've already thought about this before. 
it needs to feel natural, it needs to feel spontaneous. So by saying, I completely understand, I know it's a little unusual, but I don't use Tinder, I don't use Instagram, this is really like my only avenue that I can meet women because I don't like getting drunk and talking to everyone at a club, you're giving her the opportunity to agree with you without you trying to pressure her into feeling the same way. And this is why that line's gonna be effective, both in terms of the response that she gives you, but also in terms of making you feel more relaxed and confident about the process that you're engaging with. Now, this is a huge topic, like how do you get started? All of the mindset things, all of the ways to prepare your mind for going out, all of the, the opening lines that you can use, the situations that you can go to, the ways that you can develop from the approach into some sort of conversation. This is a huge topic and I'm not gonna be able to do this all in one short video. So what I'm gonna do is in the description link under the video and in the, the end screen inside the video, a little card's gonna show up and I'm gonna give you guys a link to a process that I have, a video process. You can click on that link and find exactly how to do this. From the very first moment you go out on the street to actually getting the phone number or meeting up with the girl afterwards, I've got the whole thing listed there with infield demonstrations as well. So if you wanna find out exactly how to start these conversations and continue them, then click on the links that I've attached in this video and ask me any questions you have at the email address, admin at fluid.social. I'll see you in the next video. Sam out. Do you ever wish that you had the confidence and the skill set to go up to that attractive girl that you see every day on your commute, in the grocery store, on that walk back home? Do you ever wish that you could go up and express yourself to her? To go and tell her that she looks good, to go and make something happen, to go and attract, seduce and get to know her? The product that I'm releasing will teach you exactly that. The fundamentals of cold approach. How to meet an attractive individual that you want to go and talk to, how to have the confidence to go and make something happen, have a conversation, get the contact details and meet up with them. If you, like many other guys, are struggling with this area of your life, I am here to help you. This product will teach you everything you need to know to start a conversation with whoever you choose in the daytime in a respectful, caring, but also most importantly confident manner conveying your full personality, expressing yourself fully, and making the best out of the situation. If you're interested in the product, follow the link in the description below, or find the card attached in the video here. Email me at admin at fluid.social for more information, and I look forward to helping you forge your new dating life.